Hello friends, last week I showed you how to create a PDF reader app in Sketchware and this is the app which I created. It can be used to pick any PDF file. We can view it in the app and we can go through the pages. But we cannot zoom the pages since all the pages are displayed in image view. So in this video I will show you how to zoom these pages. So let's start. Here on my blog I have described how to create a PDF reader app and how to enable zoom in that PDF reader app. So you can go through this. I have provided all the codes here so you can copy the codes from this page. Now this is the main code which I will be using in this video. The class zoomable image view. Yeah, this defines a new zoomable image view. This is a long code and I will be using this code for creating a zoomable image view. Instead of a normal image view I will use this zoomable image view. Now this is the app which I created in my previous video. It contained this image view, image view 1 with scale type fit center and it had these buttons. Button 1 for picking images, for picking PDF files, then edit text 1 for displaying the page number, text view 4 for displaying total number of pages, text view 3 for a go button, text view 1 for back and linear 2 sorry text view 2 for next page. This one text view 1 is for previous page. Now here I had a file picker component for application or PDF for picking application or PDF and in this I had defined I had declared a PDF renderer called renderer. So here I have a PDF renderer and the first event to be executed was button 1 on click when the user clicks button 1 for picking PDF files. So here I used this block file picker pick files for picking PDF files and once the file was picked I used file picker on files picked. So here I have set the file path of the file which is picked to this string variable PDF file and then I have set this number variable page to 0. After that I have defined the renderer which I declared in the more block extra and I have defined it for the PDF file which is picked. After that I have set this number variable page count to renderer dot page count get page count this gets the total number of pages in the PDF. After that I display a particular page of the PDF using this block display page page. And then I set the text of text view 4 to total number of pages in the PDF and after that there is catch exception since I am using try. So that is why there is this catch exception E. I do nothing in catch exception code. So now I will show you what is this display page block. It can be used for displaying any page with page number I. So suppose page number is 0, it will display page 0, page number 10 means it will display page 10. So here it has defined, it defines a new page called page from the renderer means it opens a page from the renderer of the PDF file and the page number is underscore i in int form. And then there is a new bitmap called m bitmap. And after that, that bitmap is drawn on this page using page dot render code. And after that, the bitmap which is m bitmap is drawn or displayed in image view one using this code image view one dot set image bitmap m bitmap. And then the page is closed. So this is for displaying a single page in image view one. And after that, the page number is displayed in edit text 1. This means this is the display page code and it is used in file picker on files picked initially for displaying page 0. After that, there is this button text view 1 for displaying the previous page. So if you if you are on page 5 and if you want to go to page then you can just 
decrease the page number and display that page and if you want to display the next page then you can just increase the page number and display the next page and for going to any page entered in edit text 1 in edit text 1 suppose you enter page number 10 and if you have to go to page number 10 then you can just enter that page number 10 there and use this use these blocks for moving to that page number display page page here that this number variable page is set to two number form of edit text one get text minus one now since this is not zoomable I will show you how to make it zoomable so for that I will just remove this image view I will create a custom image view which will be zoomable image view so and I will add it to a linear so here I will add a linear vertical called linear 3 I will set its width to match parent and I will set its padding to 0 now in the event extra in this more block extra I will add an add source directly block and here I will define a new class called zoomable image view here you can see this public class zoomable image view extends image view this is a new class which I have just added you can copy this from the link provided in description of this video after that I will declare a new zoomable image view here right after declaring PDF render I will declare a new zoomable image view called let's name it as touch then in on create I will define this zoomable image view called touch I will define it as touch is equal to new zoomable image view this this means context new zoomable image view this so this will create a new zoomable image view after this I will add this image view to linear 3 for that I will write linear 3 dot add view and the view is touch so I will only write touch here this will add this zoomable image view to linear 3 now after this I have to display the PDF file display the bitmap in this linear 3 instead of image view I have to display it in linear 3 and I display it in this block display page I so here instead of image view 1 set image bitmap m bitmap I will change it to touch dot set image bitmap m bitmap and that's all now let's check. okay so here in this app I can click on open and pick any PDF file like suppose I choose to pick this Nelson essentials it will display the first page and then I can go through these pages and if I have to zoom any page I can simply pinch zoom that page move it to see other parts of the page and zoom it back to its original size that's all in this video I hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this